Hello and welcome back to all you star beings of light out there. We're here studying the lessons of A Course in Miracles and today we are going to be studying lesson number 189, I Feel the Love of God Within Me Now. And I just want to tell you, this the meditation that came through for me was very simple and beautiful, but it's just this idea of the light that we can't see and sort of a I think Jesus offered me a little play on words with the visualization that came through for me but enjoy every single word of this lesson it's so beautiful so poetic and hopefully it helps you expand your definition of love let's say your definition of love is limited and that may seem like a criticism but limited to your primary partner relationship or your children or your pets or your friends but love is a frequency that we live in and is so much greater than these different types of love or what the course calls special relationships nothing wrong with having these relationships but when you can step back and place them in the context of the love that we already are and the love that we're already in it may help with finding more peace in your day and, and just grasping this idea that love is everywhere and it isn't just set aside for certain people or certain times or certain experiences. All right, so let's jump into this lesson. Lesson 189, I feel the love of God within me now. There is a light in you the world cannot perceive. And with its eyes, you will not see this light for you are blinded by the world. Yet you have eyes to see it. It is there for you to look upon. It was not placed in you to be kept hidden from your sight. This light is a reflection of the thought we practice now. To feel the love of God within you is to see the world anew, shining in innocence, alive with hope, and blessed with perfect charity and love. Who could feel fear in such a world as this? It welcomes you, rejoices that you came, and sings your praises as it keeps you safe from every form of danger and of pain. Wow, that is big love right there. That first sentence is so beautiful. It offers you a warm and gentle home in which to stay a while. It blesses you throughout the day and watches through the night as silent guardian of your holy sleep. It sees salvation in you and protects the light in you in which it sees its own. It offers you its flowers and its snow in thankfulness for your benevolence. This is the world the love of God reveals. It is so different from the world you see through darkened eyes of malice and of fear that one belies the other. Only one can be perceived at all. The other one is wholly meaningless. A world in which forgiveness shines on everything and peace offers its gentle light to everyone is inconceivable to those who see a world of hatred rising from attack, poised to avenge, to murder and destroy. Yet, yet is the world of hatred equally unseen and inconceivable to those who feel God's love in them. Their world reflects the quietness and peace that shines in them the gentleness and innocence they see surrounding them, the joy with which they look out from endless wells of joy within. What they have felt in them, they look upon and see reflections everywhere while a bee flies right in my face. <laughs> what would you see? The choice is given you, but learn and do not let your mind forget this law of seeing. You will look upon that which you feel within. If hatred finds a place within your heart, you will perceive a fearful world held cruelly in death's sharp pointed bony fingers. If you feel the love of God within you, you will look out on a world of mercy and of love. So that's a really great point that Jesus tries to drive home with us many, many times. What our inner landscape is is how we see the world outside of us. No matter what the television says or what you can agree with your friends about what's really going on, it doesn't matter. How you are 
constructed on the inside of your mind is the lens through which you see the world that's outside of you. There's nothing permanent or objective about this space that's on the outside. Okay, today we pass illusions as we seek to reach what is true in us and feel its all embracing tenderness. It's love which knows us perfect as itself. It's sight which is the gift its love bestows on us. We learn the way today. It is as sure as love itself to which it carries us. For its simplicity avoids the snares, the foolish convolution of the world's apparent reasoning, but serve to hide. That's basically what I was just saying. The world's reasoning will talk you out of miracle mindedness all day long, especially when it comes to love. So feel God's love today. Really, really feel it. Simply do this. Be still and lay aside all thoughts of what you are and what God is, all concepts you have learned about the world, all images you hold about yourself. Empty your mind of everything it thinks is either true or false, good or bad, of every thought it judges worthy, and all the ideas of which it is ashamed. Hold on to nothing. Do not bring with you one thought the past has taught, nor one belief you ever learned before from anything. Forget this world, forget this course, and come with holy empty hands unto your God. Okay, so that's how we prepare for today's meditation, which it may be a short meditation because we all know the mind chatters, right? But when you can get to that place of stillness and of peace, that's when you feel the love of God. That's when you may receive some messages or some visions or just a, just a little bit of extra peace that comes into your being and you just kind of, ah, you relax. You feel a little bit safer. You feel a little bit more grounded. You feel a little bit more... Uh, that you're that you're not alone you're that you belong to this loving creator that cares for you thinks of you knows all of your problems and wouldn't do anything to make it worse really wants you to wake up <laughs> it is not he who knows the way is it not he who knows the way to you you need not know the way to him your part is simply to allow all obstacles that you interpose between the Son of God and the Father to be quietly removed forever. God will do his part in joyful and immediate response. Ask and receive. But do not make demands, nor point the road to God by which he should appear to you. The way to reach him is merely to let him be. For in that way is your reality proclaimed as well. And so today we do not choose the way in which we go to him but we do choose to let him come. And with this choice, we rest. And in our quiet hearts and open minds, his love will blaze its pathway of itself. What has not been denied is surely there, if it be true and can be surely reached. God knows his son and knows the way to him. He does not need his son to show him how to find his way. Through every open door, his love shines outward from its home within and lightens up the world in innocence. Father, we do not know the way to you, but we have called and you have answered us. We will not interfere. Salvation's ways are not our own, for they belong to you. And it is unto you we look for them. Our hands are open to receive your gifts. We have no thoughts we think apart from you and cherish no beliefs of what we are or who created us. Yours is the way that we would find and allow. And we ask but that your will, which is our own as well, be done in us and in the world, that it become a part of heaven now. Amen. So the really interesting thing about that particular prayer is we and our, it's as if we're all praying to God together which is beautiful because normally it's a I, me kind of a conversation. So that's a beautiful awareness to have is that feeling the love of God within you now is not just you alone feeling or not feeling the love of God. 
So we're in this together, always. So this meditation for me, I closed my eyes and got the chatter to stop, to, you know, for a moment. Because <laughs> we always want to tell stories in our mind, even in meditation. And what, what came to me was as if I was looking at the sun <clears throat> and it came to a point where I felt myself trying to get closer and closer, but it was so bright that I couldn't see. And then I noticed this light that was kind of coming from my heart space towards the sun. And there was just this little vacuum of space in between that as my light was shining and the sun's light was shining, it was altogether quite blinding, but I just had the sense of being pulled closer and closer towards the sun, which in my visualization experience was going home. And that we're, I'm, as long as I can surrender and trust my practice and what I'm being taught that I'm really removing my old thoughts and beliefs and replacing it with this material, that I'm gonna continue to feel that pull as if I'm being pulled home into that bright light that it's hard to see. And obviously our, our body's eyes, if we were to look at the sun here on illusory planet Earth, school planet Earth, we can't really stare at it for very long, if at all, because it's, it's so bright. And I think that that is what love is. It's for us in the human experience, it's so bright and so big and so hot and so penetrating. We just kind of look away. We just assume it's gonna hurt us or you know, we'll never really get close enough to it. Yet when you really go into your space of turning it over to the Holy Spirit or just the idea of surrendering and having faith that you are going to be pulled and it's actually the light within you that's returning to the big light that's, that's doing all the work. You need do nothing. I need do nothing. So today is a day of feeling a beautiful sense of connection with your brothers and sisters because the prayer at the end of this lesson is we and our, which is great. And also just reminding you that to get your mind quiet is to bring peace. And that is God. That is love. That is the, the truth of why we're here is to find those moments in between all the other moments where you're just present, safe, held, fully known, fully seen, fully forgiven, perfect, pure, innocent, defenseless. That is our truth. That is love. That is God. And that is our lesson for today. Enjoy, have a wonderful day, and I will see you back here again on the next video.